Hi guys, so I wasn't going to do a video, but um, I decided to do one only because, sorry, I've got myself blocked here, <clears throat> only because I just applied my foundation, and I gotta say, you know, as a kind of a, a makeup, well, obviously a makeup junkie, um, um, collector of makeup, mm, no, uh, makeup hobbyist, makeup lover. Let's just call me a makeup lover. Um, I am always looking for the perfect kind of everything, like the perfect foundation, perfect lipstick, perfect lip liner, perfect eyebrow, you know, whatever, tool, perfect serum, perfect everything, aren't we all? Okay, so I was just thinking as I was putting on my foundation, um, I'm going to show you what I put on today. You can see that I'm more than halfway through this one because I should have shaken it up, but whatever. It doesn't seem to make a difference, you know, like negative wise. So it's the Revlon Photo Ready. And no matter if I get the airbrush effect, the new and improved one, this one seems to have a lot more of that glitter that you see in the sun, but it's okay. I mean, I don't know why Revlon did that, but it's okay. It really, it's just, it's, I don't care. It's worth it. So um, the Revlon Photo Ready is honestly what I, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you first before I start floating around like I usually do. Revlon Photo Ready and the Rimmel BB Cream 9-in-1, the Radiance, okay? That's what I mixed today. One's kind of squirt, one uh, pump. Um, sometimes I use this one and my Revlon. Sometimes I use the Dior Star and my Revlon, or the Dior Star and my YSL. Uh, sometimes I use the Fit Me and my Revlon. You get the idea, okay? I mix a darker one with a lighter one, whatever is going to give me this particular color. So I'm pretty sure you can see this is full coverage. Um, no matter what I seem to use, and this is what I was thinking as I'm putting on my foundation today, no matter what I use with the Revlon, even if I just use just the Revlon, like right now this is a little bit too dark for me. I got it in the color uh, 005 Natural Beige. I think the first time I ever used this color was in the summer or, uh, yeah, I believe so, in the summertime. So I wasn't quite sure, um, you know, how, I mean, the color suited me then. It was perfect for me. Great match. So, um, so sometimes I mix it and there's no way that I'm going to get a ton of color. So I'm going to continue to mix it probably. Um, this foundation has always been my go-to for probably the last... Um, I've been using it continuously for about three years. I always come back to this foundation, whether I mix it or not. And I am, I have got so many foundations. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a foundation video. I will for sure. And it, it, I've got way too many foundations. It's just ridiculous. Um, and like eight out of 10 of them are just almost no good to me unless I mix them. And most of them, like I said, I mix with the Revlon. So, helicopter, yeah, um, I live beside an a airport. So what I wanted to, to make this video about was, um, I know I mention my age all the time, but I am 47 years old. And sometimes I can't believe that I'm 47. <laughs> Maybe that's why I mention it all the time. But I wanted to come on before I forgot to uh, mention this to you guys is, to me, for aging skin, this is the best, the best foundation, because that's why I mentioned my age. I'm 47. I've used a ton of foundations. Uh, Revlon Photo Ready has been around for a while. I will um, research it and see exactly how long the Photo Ready has been around, but their foundations are like really always been amazing. Um, this, their foundations are pretty much all I like from Revlon. I mean, their lipsticks are okay, but they're really nothing for me. I love Maybelline lipsticks. But um, the Revlon Photo Ready is the best for me for full coverage. For my age, for my skin, I have normal to dry skin. Not really combination. I have normal to dry skin. 
um, you know, pretty basic skin. So if you have normal to dry skin, you are aging, obviously. Everybody's aging. I'm not saying this isn't good for young skin. It's fantastic. But if you're my age, this stuff does not settle badly in your lines. It doesn't make, it doesn't accentuate your pores. It's just an amazing foundation. As I'm putting it on today with my beauty blender, and I've been using this forever. Um, not forever, but you know, been using it consistently with all my foundations. I'm putting it on and I'm thinking, this is like the best coverage. I have this horrific pimple here. I have a scar here. I have uh, those um, broken capillaries. I have some marking up here, some spots over here, sunspots everywhere. And phew, gone as soon as I put my foundation on. And it's always with the Revlon Photo Ready. So I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know that before I forgot because with age comes memory loss. Okay, so anyway, just kidding about that, but seriously, because I forget sometimes and and then, um, you know, the, the chance to make the videos go on. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful and I will talk to you soon.